You're going to die one day. You're not impervious to that fact. See, every time I go for a run, I go past this dead armadillo. About three months ago, I ran across it and I just jolted out of the way. I wasn't expecting to see death in this early morning uh, run. So throughout the past couple months, I've been seeing different animals, different insects eat at it to a point where now it's just a shell. And that's what we're all gonna be at some point in our life. We're just gonna be a shell, a memory, a remnant of who we were, of what kind of drive, what kind of passion, what kind of energy that we had in this life. You see, that time is coming. And for a lot of us, we have this commitment issue of committing to a certain goal, a certain task, because we're gonna have the time to eventually do it. Or it's going to be too far. You see, time doesn't really matter. All you have is this present moment, and what does matter is the fact that you're overthinking whatever it is that needs to be done at hand. All you have to do is take the current steps right now to become better than you were yesterday, better than you were the moment before. Because if you don't take that next step right now, you go into the state of being fearful, anxious, you start to have doubts, you start to overthink. What is it going to take to get to that particular place? How difficult is it gonna to be to get that? Nothing in life is guaranteed except that your death is coming. And when you begin to fully realize and live with that, you start to have a sense of urgency, a sense of passion, a sense of purpose to enjoy whatever it is that's at hand and whatever it is that you are doing, you better find a way to enjoy it. So take the time, you don't have a lot of time left, to begin to understand what is it that you want the most out of this life. Because what you will be is just a shell, a remnant, a memory to the people that are around you. You're gonna be an example. So what kind of example are you going to be? What kind of life are you going to lead? It's not going to be one of depression. It's not gonna be one of sadness, of regret, of doubt, of fear. You see, about two, three years ago, I started to go through this rebirth process. I started to really figure out who was I, what did I stand for, what was I going to move towards, where was I gonna put my heart and my energy, and I went through this reawakening period. It's not the first time, we all go through these awakening periods where we start to realize that the path that we're on isn't the right one. And once you figure that out, you start to make all these little minor adjustments where they slowly start to snowball and becomes the biggest impact that you have. And that's where you begin to move towards the path that is calling for you. See, there is no manual to life. You have to be able to chart your own course and understand what is going on inside. Who am I supposed to be? What am I capable of? Because when you look in that mirror, that's the only person that you have to answer back to. So just remember, your death is coming one day. No one has to live inside this shell but you. What are the commitments that you failed to make? What are the commitments that you have broken? Where are you not putting your time and energy? And how are you not living your best life? 